The idea of being in a band, none of us were qualified. We didn't know what we were doing. It was just a pipe dream. We were kids. We were wanting to be something other than walking the streets at night, kicking cans around. I joined Def Leppard on my 15th birthday. I got the job as the singer in the band because I had an extensively great record collection and I was tall. You know, within a year, we're opening up for some of the biggest bands in the world. We wanted to be the biggest band in the world. For a little while, we were. I'm Joe Elliott, asking the musical question, what happens when one of the greatest bands in rock history comes to the Hard Rock Hotel in Las Vegas for a month-long series of concerts and videotapes everything? The answer is a limited-run television series featuring the five members of Def Leppard and a unique collection of backstage rock stars, lovable managers, our wives, our children and the hardest-working crew in show business. This man has a beard big enough to keep a badger in. We don't even have to be playing instruments. It's just being in the same room, we share the same type of humour. We've not really grown up. What a way to go out. 15 minutes. It's an intimate and revealing backstage look at rock and roll history. <laughs> Been round the block. I've had so many girlfriends, you wouldn't believe it. And uh, I've been waiting to meet this person forever. I'd never experienced anything like this. Oh no, caught in the act <laughs> with a jar of coconut oil. <laughs> Phil is known for his physique. He's very healthy, he's vegan. He's 55 years old. My husband is sexy. He just has to get out there and be as buff and as wonderful as possible. And he has to do it quickly. Five seconds, four, three, two. Whoa, let's go. Hello, darling. Haven't seen you for a while. What's the next chord? Ladies and gentlemen. It's a certain kind of personality that you need to have to go out and to be the front man. He was born <laughs> to be a singer. Jeff Leppard's in every part of my world, like every part of my world, my wedding, my kid's birth. I love Jeff Leppard. They wrote the, and performed the theme music of my life. You want weird? We'll give you some weird. Huh? Do you drink alcohol? No, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> That's the we got a nice kind of warm, squishy vibe going on. But any visit with Def Leppard today reminds us of the band's past, the tragic loss of guitarist Steve Clark and the unbelievable accident of drummer Rick Allen. It didn't make sense when he said Rick's lost his arm. It made absolutely no sense to me at all. Well, even if he lives, how's he gonna play drums? It was almost like the universe just said, we need to shut down this chapter of your life. He, he was kind of numbed out to his um, pain. When I met him, it was easy to see that there was unchecked trauma. You know, I suffer from PTSD, and I didn't know that for, for years. <laughs> He's literally having to compensate with three limbs, something that he did with four. And he will practice and practice and practice until he's literally bleeding through blisters or his muscles are fatigued. He will just do it until he falls off that stool. 
there's Def Leppard fans, and then there's a whole subset of Def Leppard fans that are Rick Allen fans who are, you know, people who are amputees and whatnot and war veterans, people who are just so inspired by Rick. Everything we've been through, um, you know, what with, you know, me going through my accident, bring you to the question, why are we doing this? The only answer I could ever come up with was because we like each other, because we're friends, because we're brothers. And I think that's one of the reasons why uh, we're still here today. I